Hey everybody, we're hanging out at the W Hotel in downtown Austin. And today we're gonna go upstairs to the rooftop and we're gonna check out a half a million to one million bees. That's right, there's an apiary right up there and Walter Schumacher is the head of the apiary department here at the W Hotel and we're gonna find out more about him and what his bees are up to. Come join us. Uh, and each one of these boxes is somewhere between 50 and 100,000 bees. So on this roof is somewhere between a half million and a million bees. So we have, we have 10 beehives uh, here and we have an additional uh, 30 beehives uh, on the Martin Creek property uh, that are scheduled to rotate in and off of the roof. So each time that we spend this honey, uh, we'll also uh, we'll take these bees to the country and let them sit around and, and, and rest uh, and then we'll bring new bees uh, in and then they can produce uh, the next month's honey. Every uh, beekeeper feeds their bees. Uh, most beekeepers feed their bees either uh, corn syrup or sugar water. Uh, we're lucky enough to be able to feed our bees a, 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 a fruit slurry. Uh, so uh, uh, these bees are uh, basically a fruit uh, smoothie uh, without any creams. Uh, and uh, so that's where they get the majority of their sugar from, uh, right here on the roof. Now they pollinate uh, a mile and a half to two miles uh, in, uh, around this building, uh, and uh, the majority of their nectar and food source, as you see this highway, even in this rain, uh, it comes from uh, the river. Honey flow started about 10 days ago in earnest in, in our part of the world. Uh, it started with uh, the, the showers that came in about 14 days ago. Uh, and then last week with the two inches that we got in most places, uh, it really kicked uh, the flowers into gear. So the first rain brought the flowers out. Uh, the second rain brought the nectar to the flowers. Uh, it's the nectar and the flowers that, uh, that uh, allow the bees to produce the honey. And so now we have tons of nectar. Uh, that, that is happening. This bee box here. Uh, let's say the chef uh, would want uh, a honey that is, has a, a, a super pear flavor. So then we could take a fruit slurry of just pear and and individually feed this hive uh, uh, with with a device that's a, that's called a rooftop feeder. Uh, and so then those bees would take in the uh, the sugars of a pear and then turn that into a honey and then that honey would be uh, very pear flavor. Uh, all of these plants, uh, all of the soils are organic, uh, and uh, we're, we're growing uh, uh, more of the, the container uh, baskets uh, to accommodate the thing, and we're going to add probably about 100 more baskets. Uh, and then all of the herbs uh, that, are, that are raised here, uh, and there'll be tomatoes and, and fruits, etc., all raised organically, uh, can be utilized by the trace. If, I'll be able to speak more to that and how they would utilize uh, uh, those products. But again, all organic, all grown right here, and all uh, potentially could be used in, in the restaurant for, uh, for the variety of, of uh, uh, mixtures and concoctions and things that they make there.